Well guys, were you ready to take on World 6? Because I'm not. Let's actually try World 0 now that I, wow, seem to have unlocked almost everything here. Uh, I haven't checked out these levels at all, so what do we got here? Frolorus's challenge. Really? Frolorus? That was your name all along? Alright, fine. So what's the gimmick here? Whoa! I am a walrus and I breathe ice. This is awesome. In fact, this seems like a different rendition of the first world that we went to, doesn't it? This is literally the opening world, only I'm a freaking walrus. This is great. Yeah, I remember this. Freezing totem pole enemies. Yeah, in fact, everything's in the place. Is there a red gem up and to the right? I like attention to detail. That was there last time. There it is. Red gem up and to the right. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, the bridge wasn't broken last time, and I think I could go back up this pipe. Okay, it's not an exact reproduction, but maybe that's the gimmick of these levels. That, um, that somehow when you go to them, they are just little, uh, reskins of levels you've already played, and you've gotta be enemies. Feels a little different not having Psycho Iris by my side, but, uh, infinite ability? Uh, that's a pretty good trade-off, actually. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Walrus, how jumpy are you? Can you get up to the... No, you can't. Oh, well. Uh, hmm. I feel a little different today. Uh, technically, this actually isn't Waluigi at all. I am, um... Uh, I am George. I think George is a, is a name that most walruses would be pretty happy to have. And by walruses, I mean frost-breathing monstrosities. I'm kidding. Everybody in my tribe breathes frost. Haven't you noticed? Ah, uh, in fact, even these icy cold waters are nothing to me. Has, has, has World 1 actually been frozen over since I was there last? Well, apparently this area is also uh, underwater. Yeah, this... Thank you, George. This, uh... This wasn't underwater the last time I was here. No, but there was a gem in here, wasn't there? Yeah, wait a minute, have you been watching my Let's Play? Yeah, actually. What can I say? Uh, I don't really like the way you treat the other walruses, so, uh... Yeah, I figure you need my help, because they really are mad at you. Alright, let's, uh, wow. Did you have any remorse for, uh, turning those guys off? Dude, it's a video game. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> Silly me! What can I say, buddy? I can't believe you're worried about morality so much. I mean, here we are retaking one of your first levels from the hazelnuts, apparently, as far as storyline goes. I can't break these bricks now that I don't have a psycho charm to help. But, uh, you know what? I'm a walrus, and we walruses, we make do with what we have. You know, we jump, we freeze, it's not that complicated. Yeah, that's true. As far as first, uh, weird World Zero levels goes, Apparently, I can freeze things as soon as they come out of ice, so this is pretty simple. Oh yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a great stretch, isn't it? You know, for the first level of a new world to be simple. Don't hate the playa, George. I'm just trying to try this level out. Alright, might as well freeze everything then, because I've only got three health left, thanks to your mucking around. Mucking around? Really? George, look, look, look. We're gonna have to work together here, but I got my explanation already primed for you guys. Oh, I figured you'd, you'd uh, have a little script to go by, wouldn't you? Well, no, it's not a script at all. It's pretty spontaneous. But anyway, through the door. Okay, just, just cooperate, okay, George? All right. Hey, it looks like there's a staircase over here. Well, I bet there's a gem up it if you can, you know, avoid breaking everything that's important. And you didn't. Well, I tried. Sue me. It's made out of ice. You make things make out of ice. Yeah, well, that's why you play the levels twice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Little things like that. I mean, the game likes to have little secrets here and there that you can only do once. And I'm getting burned. You know what walruses hate more than anything else? Being set on fire. Well, how about uh, being shot by a cloud? At least I stopped you from that. All right, but I'm telling you, watch out for the fire. All right, all right, George. Whew. So, who exactly is moving here? Is it me or you? Just, just play the game. All right. Oh, this is cool. I like this. Having to make platforms. Well, if I didn't have my ice powers, you'd be out in the cold, wouldn't you? Ho, ho, ho. All right, Walrus. No more puns. Okay? <laughs> I don't do puns, and you certainly aren't doing puns. Are you sure? I could put them on ice for you. Okay, no. George, that was unforgivable. You know what's unforgivable? 
this this section. I don't like speed. I'm a walrus. Oh wow, yeah. Sorry, George. I seem to have brained you. Hmm. All right, so I've uncloned the walrus a second time, and we're gonna try to go get that gem. All right, so how do we get up there? I don't know. Uh, uh, uh um, hmm. I don't want to jump too much because I've got one shot at this before the ice breaks. So here we go. Oh, we did it! Oh yes, yes! Ha ha! Gold gem and a health power up. Not shabby. Whew! Good job, George. All right, walrus high five. Oh, you don't have hands, but close enough. Close enough, my friend. Let's freeze these things before they burn you into a carpet. People have walrus carpets these days? Uh, I might be a bit behind on the time. Um, how long have you been out, Whip? Look, look, no. You're in Canada, right? You already live in an igloo. Ha, <laughs> George. George, don't go there. You sure? I mean, uh, that's what, uh, that's what you Canadians do, right? Live in igloos and, uh, drink maple syrup for breakfast? Yeah, that makes sense in any sense of the word. Look, okay, you might... No, 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 Canada really is this cold, isn't it? Me and you get along really well. Actually, on that subject, George, uh, since there's actually a difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit... Oh yeah, that's not hard to notice. I'm just trying to say, uh, I had a roommate once, right? And, um, he lived in the Bahamas, and, and his mother called him once, and he was like, Oh, how cold is it there? And I was like, Oh, no, it's, it's nothing. It's like, uh, actually, it's quite warm outside. It's like, uh, you know, it's like 16 degrees. And he was like, 16 degrees? My goodness, I'd freeze. And I was like, how hot is it over there? And she was like, 50. And I was like, 50? Gosh, what is the temperature of boiling? That's crazy. But uh, I think I looked it up later on, and uh, it wasn't all that different. Just, uh, just has to do with culture, I guess. Yeah, by the way, culture, walruses can't fly! Alright, sorry, George, I seem to have lost your cloud, but it was a water area next. Oh, thank goodness there were hearts there. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that, buddy. So, um, can you kill that king for me? What? Why is he shooting those? Oh, apparently you couldn't freeze him, but, uh, thank you. So, Waluigi, you are apparently going to take all the credit for George's hard work in this stage, are you? Yeah, you are. Alright, well, that's one world conquered. I suppose this sort of fits into the storyline, so let's just try playing more of those. 